Okay, morning folks. Um, this is just a little video to show my system. They are the quarter culture here. And um well actually the whole entire system is fairly very very simple. And um I just go through the the flows and the flow part. I want not fed the fish and I see the water a little a little like I said. Not dirty, it's cloudy, but it's still clear. I don't really see it because of the reflection, but um, yeah. I just have a little air, yeah, not much. Um, and well, I have a submergible pump, one, one of those um, King series, it's a King tree, very small. And that goes into my um, aerated tank, really. And this basically here acts as a mechanical and um, Magical filter is for both. Actually, I don't remove any solids at all from the system. The entire system is self sustaining in our way. It may come a point in time that the, the biofilm and such and the bioflux, whatever you want to call it, will build up, but it seems that it, it is balancing off itself right now. So, um, oh, this system has only been on for about a month. That's my new everything here is around a month, especially for the third is a new introduction to it. And um yeah. So it the flow comes from the fish tank to the base of the the um filter and um that comes up through there you see when it's bubbling up there, that's where it comes in and then it flows downwards. It flows downwards, going straight to the back to the base of the tank and come up through this SLO. You see now the elbow, uh, you really can't see it because you know it is in the thing, but watch all the biofilm that is gathering on the net. It's like a netting material, and um, yeah, I added air into it. And this year, <laughs> they actually added a tomato just to feed the um, bacteria. That's now and then, yeah, it's gone, it's on the skin now. I was a whole tomato before. Let me show you. Oh, that was actually a whole tomato and that's turned into skin. Yeah. That's why bacteria they had to Ah uh, your tropes will use your carbon dioxide. And the other ones carbon organic. We actually will use an organic form of carbon. So um yeah, so after there, oh, that's an efficiency, right? There you go. So, yeah, it goes in, it flows out and enters into my deep water culture. We have about approximately 200 heads of, well, not really heads of, but it's 200 plants because it already have lettuce and, um, and pak choy. Yeah, here is the length of this deep water culture is around. 16 feet by 4 feet wide and everything here is grown on just that tank there. Simple and flows from that side, flows down through the system and exit to here. Yeah. And well from there it flows back. You see that line, how the line there and it just flows back straight back to the return line back into the fish tank and people might think oh, okay they might have a little I might not be suspicious enough for the clarity of roots and oh this is the water culture but it doesn't have no aeration it says fully <laughs> whatever flows come in goes out have no mechanical aeration underneath it's just on top of water no, no adi additional air and with that People think that mm, so and so may not grow as well because of the lack of air and so on, but this is a root development. And this is a lettuce after three weeks of growth in the system. But up here will be a little, you can see a little brown, wrongness on that because it is the entering of the bed. If I come back to here, a little, little later down. Let's see how the roots are. Mmm, watch how clear. 
Why? It's almost like it's growing in a hydroponic system. <laughs> so yeah, um, that is basically it for the system. Mm, I just love pulling out the plants because I just put it back in. That's it basically for the system and yeah, it's just that simple. No, no radio full filter, no swirl filter, no mechanical filter, no removal of solids, no washing of filters. Um, what else? No worrying about ammonia and nitrate and nitrates because everything is actually at this point zero. Initially, the nitrates are going up, but seeing that the plants in them, you see, look at my nitrate is zero. My nitrates is very close to zero, must be around five or ten, something around there. But, um, yeah, that's basically it. The plants are actually using the, the nutrients very efficiently. Actually, I think a little too efficiently because I feel my head increasing feed, feeding it. Most of the time, I just feed around maybe 60 to 70 grams of food per day. That's sustaining 200 plants. But I believe I might have to increase it because how the nitrous is dropping. But um, that's basically it. All those headaches and such that other people say about aquaponics. You can't really believe everything out there. It's very simple. And it is a very self-sustaining system. And you can make huge profit on it if you understand the 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 running about and the mechanics of the system and the biological interactions with the system once you do that figuring out that filtration is very easy and very affordable you just have to put a little effort into understanding the mechanics within the mineralization process of the fish waste and once you do that you can enjoy these lovely growths like how I am getting it here and hopefully oh there is a still up yes but wow if I had sun uh, let me see I could just hide some of this clear can't oh well so yeah I'm kind of hiding from it because the eat and it that's going now because you know that that's that, that pretty so yeah so that's it hope you all enjoy and happy growing stay tuned for more bye